It's Miss Honeycut here, and I am going to show you another really cool thing you can do with Quaver today. Um, you've done cue grooves where you composed um, your stay at home songs. You guys also did cue dancer where you made your own dances. And now you're going to do cue sound effects, which is adding sound effects to a movie clip. So you kind of get to be an audio engineer. And this one is really, really fun. So there's two ways to find this one. You can either go all the way through Quaver, um, go to Kids Enter here and then enter and go to the lab, which I'm sure you looked inside the music room there, but the easiest way to do it, and I'll do that one more time and see everything there is all together, is click apps, scroll up, and you'll see cue sound effects over here on the left. So we're gonna click on that. Okay. So like I said, oh, I'm going to fast forward through his so I can explain it to you. Exit tutorial. But when you log if you in. want to know more, remember, help is just one click away. Exactly. When you log in, you can listen to his tutorial. And if you need help while you're doing it, you can click help at the bottom of the screen, which is what he was pointing to down here. So this is one of my favorite tools on Quaver because you get to pick your very own clip and then you get to make it sound like anything you want. So let's preview some of these. You'll notice none of them have any sound at all because you're going to add all the sound. I predict this bubble is probably going to pop or get really big and then pop. Oh, uh, not quite. Okay, so I looked at that one. I think I want to do one that has a little more action in it. Pie in the face. Hmm, that sounds promising. I'm going to click it. So now I've selected pie in the face, and I can watch it again if I want to by pressing play. Looks like he's ringing the doorbell. Ringing the doorbell. Now it's my turn to add sounds to the scene. So I'm going to start over here. I see video sound effects and it says people outdoors sounds home or auto. So maybe a doorbell would be under home and auto. Let's see auto cooking door promising, but there's a lot of things here. Food house. I'm going to click door. And now I'm going to go to the right and I'm going to see all my options. Door open, squeaky door open, metal door, door knock, door bell. That's what I'm looking for. So I'm going to back this up to when he's ringing the doorbell. And I can do that by dragging this arrow here. Let's see, right when he starts to hit the doorbell, I'm going to drag that sound over here. And that's the first sound effect. So I can actually have one, two, three three different sound effects going at one time. The mic would be, if you had a mic on your computer, then you could use that. Okay, um, maybe I'm gonna put, let's see, let's see what it sounds like. Good, so now I know he presses it again. He's hearing something, what do I want that to be? Let's see, I'm gonna come back over here and I'm gonna click people. Oh, what do I think he hears in there? Cause he held his hand up. Hmm, what if he heard a baby? I'm gonna click baby. And I hear a bunch of stuff and I can preview him over here with this little arrow. All right, let's say he hears that. Not the best sound. I'm gonna put it on this, now I'm gonna put it on the first line for now. Press play. Now I need a door knock. So I'll go back here that click home and auto click my door again so, scroll down door knock listen to it great put that there now i might want to have two sounds going at once right so maybe i want him to still be hearing the baby while he's knocking on the door so let me show you how to do that scroll up click this again go back to people Go back to baby. Um, well, maybe now the baby's crying instead of whining. So I'm gonna put on the second level. So we're gonna hear two things at once, okay? So let's see, let's back it up to the little beginning of the scene. Oh, 
let me back that sound up because now I'm watching it. It looks like it should be more like right here when he starts to hear it. And the pie in the face, of course, at the end. So let's do one more thing at the end. Almost done here. Let's go to sounds. Ooh, hits, maybe, for the pie. All kinds of things. Maybe not. Let's do, let's do a silly sound. Let's do a horn. And we will do horns cartoon. So when he gets hit with the pie... Let's see, put it, where's he get hit with the pie? Right about, if I drag it, I can see the different scenes too. Hit right about there. All right, let's watch that last little part. Perfect. So as you can see, there are a ton of different sounds in this, okay? I can click, cause I click here first to pick what kind I want, music. I can add music. Moods, percussion, instruments, fanfares, do moods. Sneaky, honky tonk, happy, slow. Okay. So always start here and then come over here and then click and drag. If you want to get rid of something, just like on with everything on Quaver, you click it, take it off, and let it go. And it poofs away. Okay. You can save this one too the same way you would go to, uh, you would first, sorry. Click my new video and you would change it. So I'm going to do quaver pie in the face. I can also add a song to play along with the whole track if I want or the whole video. Be bopping along maybe. Loading. Take it a second to think about that. There we go. So we can hear a couple seconds of it. Wow, for a clip that started with absolutely no sound, that ended up pretty cool. And I only spent a couple minutes on it just to show you what you could do. So once you've changed the title up here, you can come down to file. You can click save. And when Quaver says, okay, you're saved. I hope that you guys all have a lot of fun making your own uh, clips in Quaver. If you really, really like them, make sure you save them so that we can take a look at them later. Bye, guys.